Welcome back to the Brothers War EDH. My name is Ryan and this is Chris. And today we're bringing you our 20th EDH gameplay video. Uh, it's crazy to think that we've been doing this since April. And uh, we've been enjoying this ride. We thank y'all for all of your love and support. Um, it's been a, you know, it's been very fun doing this. Um, so today, uh, the power levels will be six and seven. The descriptions for those will be at the bottom of the screen right here. If you want to pause and take a look at that. We have our question of the day again, brought to you by Chris. Question of the day brought to you by Chris. Today, we're going to talk about a very controversial topic. Infinite combos. <laughs> How do we feel about infinite combos in casual CD, I mean, casual EDH? Um, you know, this has been a huge topic, and it still is. Like, did you run them? Uh, what? I just, I don't know. You tell me. Like, I want to know. Did you run them in casual CEDH? And yeah, what, what do you, I mean, what do you think? Well, well, first, what do you think? Since this is your question, I think that I've come up on the idea of infinite combos in in EDH. And the reason why is because games gotta end. Sometimes, mm. sometimes games could mm. last for hours, and I ain't trying to be here for hours playing one game. A slug of a game. Yeah. Games are like 15, 20 turns. Like, get me out of here. I don't. I'd rather not do that. Right. You know, I'd like. I like games that are, inner like, like always. You know, making sure that we're keeping up with our game actions, and you know, nobody's just on the phone or something like that. And we're constantly, you know having to look at the board state and uh kind of you know i guess moving towards a victory instead of like creating value that doesn't really have any impact you know meaningful game actions is what i like to say right so how do you feel about it so what i think about infinites is i've been fine with them since day one uh in casual i, I think that they're fine um because you know like what you're saying you were trying to end the game and number one but two the objective of the game you know is to win and it's a way to win so it's like it's it's okay with me um you know if you don't you know if but it also comes down to like i guess uh you know yeah, your, your play group yeah yeah, yeah rule zero um you know if if everyone's fine with it then it's fine if someone has a problem with it then it's okay you know y'all can y'all can discuss else, that you know? yeah 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 just bust out something else but overall infinites are good and you know or, or or infinites to me are fine but you know we'll love to hear from y'all on this because for ever since i've been playing you know edh there's always uh, a lot of uh you know talk about you know the pros and cons of like you know, of like infinite so but yeah um with that being said let's get into the opening hands first we have kyle on sephiris of the hidden ways this deck seeks to deploy sephiris and complete as many dungeons as he can throughout the game. Next we have Ryan on Seton, Crows and Protector. This is a Druid Travel deck that seeks to deploy Seton and generate a ton of mana to find different ways to win the game such as attacking or combo. Next we have Drew on Wilhelt the Rock Cleaver. This is a dedicated zombie deck that seeks to use Wilhelt's ability to generate a ton of zombies and get a ton of value to win the game. And last we have Chris on Ren and Sari Inseparable. This is a cat and travel deck that seeks to cast a lot of cats, create a lot of dogs, and swing out to win the game. And with that, let's go to war. Draw for two. Underground River. Draw. Yeah. Forest, play a Arbor Elf and pass. Play a Swamp and pass. I'll draw a card. We will start with a Plateau and pass. Look at this guy. It's not fancy. Uh, I, I, was, I was surprised too when this is Josh's deck. I'll tap two for a Talisman of Progress. Yep. And pass. I'm going to go ahead and just. Uh, just make this fat of vampiric tutor. Hey. Okay. okay. Gotcha. We can't play against this. No. <laughs> Draw. I'll take the two for you, bud. Play yes, that, that card right here. I forget that. Um, 
I am going to just pass my turn. Oh my gosh. Okay. I tried to I tried to beat you, but I couldn't. Run tap. I'll keep draw. Oh. Uh, play a tainted isle. <laughs> uh, we'll tap both of these for a thought vessel. Nice. And I'll pass. That'll be draw. Playing. That's the turn. Uh, I'll play this island. Yeah. Um, I'll tap this black and a white, taking a damage for Triumphant Adventurer. So it has Death Touch, and as long as it's my turn, it has First Strike, uh, and whenever it attacks, I venture. Okay. And I'll pass. Draw. I'm gonna play a Forest. I cast my commander, Satan. Uh, go to combat. I'll, I'll attack Chris for one. I'll pass. One tap. I'll keep draw. Or stick study. Mm. Mm. Tap it for blue. Yeah. Alright, I'll pass. Untap a key draw card. I will play a command tower. Uh I'm gonna <laughs> beast within the Ristic study. Okay. Not paying for the Ristic study. Okay. You will draw a card. Alright, yeah. And, so, and then I'll pass. Um I'll tap one in a blue. For Dungeon Delver. So, room abilities. Uh, I've done design on trigger an additional time, but that's only whenever mm -hmm. Cypress is out. That's okay. We all learn. Uh, move to combat. Yeah. Um, triumphant Adventure at uh, you, Chris. Four of one. Okay. I'll, one. I'll delve oh into gosh. the Lost Mine of Pan Delver. Oh boy. Uh, so, okay, Ventures, I'll just scry one. Keep that where it's at. Ooh. Yeah, it's oh, nice. Yeah. Tap, draw. That's not what I was freaking seeing. Play a forest. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to play a Manglehorn. Mm -hmm. uh, ETB, I'm going to destroy your talisman. I'll attack you for two. And I'll attack Chris for one. Take one. Go ahead. Alright, I'll tap. Keep draw. Alright. Uh, tap everything. Or Art School of Thraben. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Untap, key, draw a card, play Spectator Seaton. Tap for three. I'll play an Urza's Incubator. Mm -hmm. Enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creature spells of the chosen type cost two less to cast. I believe you said this is a cat deck. Not a dog deck, so I'm gonna go with cats. And I'll pass. You wanna go zombies? <laughs> this is a dog. A dog. Yeah, so cats. all so all cats cost two less, by the way. For y'all too. All cats cost two, cost two less. Sure you don't want to do zombies? <laughs> Where's my chain? He might have a zombie or two in there. <laughs> um my chain so, uh, red green zombie. <laughs> I'll play a godless shrine. Yep. Um I'll yeah, I'll pay the two life. I'll cast Zephyrus. Yeah. yeah. So, one white, one black, one blue. Move to combat? Yeah. Uh, Ryan, come here with one. Uh, it has death touch. It does have death touch. Any adventures in the dungeon? And I venture. I'll take it. I will, yeah, I'm gonna go to the goblin glare. I don't have a 1-1 a, a one -one red goblin. I do. Got you, Bam. Appreciate that. Which um, one do you want? You want that'll trigger an additional one? time. Yeah, the That's biker. Sick. Or yeah. do you want this one? You want the biker, or do you, you want, want the biker? The, uh, you want the biker. I'll, I'll take the biker. You want the biker? Yeah. Want the biker. Yeah. And that'll trigger twice. <laughs> you want the biker? So I'll make two, and I'll pass turn. Here, untap, upkeep, draw a card. I'm gonna play a forest. Tap three. I'm gonna play a grown rights of it of Itlamok. Okay. Uh enters the top four. I'm gonna do a fierce empath for the rest on the bottom. Anywhere. Look at that. One, two, three, and we'll cast the fierce empath. 
I'm going to search my library for a creature card with CMC 6 or more, put a reveal it, and put it into my hand. We'll do uh, Soul of the Harvest. And I guess we'll go to combat. Uh, Chris, I'll tech you for... Uh... Yeah, I'll just come for you, Chris. Four? Yeah, four. Uh, go to my end step. Uh, trigger the growing rights. I control four more creatures, so I will transform growing rights. Now I'll pass the turn. What does it become? Um, it becomes Guy's Cradle, but I can tap it for a green as well. Guy's Cradle is tap for each creature you control. It's for a green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. I'll tap this for a blue. Diagraph Captain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pass. Untap. Keep. Draw. Uh, planes. Cast Amari's Wake. Yep. Pass. I'm going to swap this Grimcon pathway into a Brightcon pathway. Yep. Uh, two and a white for uh, thorough investigation. I love that card. Uh, so whenever I attack, I investigate, um, and whenever I sacrifice a clue, I get to venture. Move to combat? Yeah. I'll throw both goblins. I'll throw the Triumph and Adventure at you, Chris, and both goblins at you, Brian. I'll take two. Um, attack trigger. I'll go into the storeroom to put a plus one plus one on target creature. That'll go off twice. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna do it on Triumph and Adventure. Okay, so I'll take three. Uh, so that's the attack trigger, and then this goes off first before damage. Mm. Okay, so yes, that would be three. All right. Oh, no, um, I also make a clue. Uh, I'll do that. I will pay two. I'll go ahead and sack the clue. Draw a card. Yeah, and then we'll uh, then then yeah. uh, Nice. Then I'll draw two cards. I've now completed a dungeon. Nice. Uh, I've played that as an only for turn, right? Yes. Okay. Pass. Alright, untap. I'll keep draw. I'm gonna play a Wirewood Lodge. I'm gonna tap six for the Soul to Harvest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do five mana here. Uh, we're going to cast a Druid of Purification. When he enters, starting with you, each player may choose an artifact or enchantment you don't control. Just destroy each permanent chosen this way. I'm doing the Mars Wake. I'm going to choose that. So, Drew, now, now you can choose Dungeon Delver. Okay. I'll do the thorough investigation. Wow. What do you have, Drew? Just, you, you just, just a Thought Vessel. Just, just a Thought Vessel. vessel. I've missed three land drops. Got these two, this one's already been chosen. Yeah. I'll do your Earth's Okay. Okay. So those destroyed, and then I uh, draw a card from Soul to Harvest. I'm gonna tap my Arbor Elf for uh, Birch Lord Rangers. Uh, draw a card. No, I'm gonna pass. Good. Untap. Okay, combat. Mm -hmm. Um. Ron, I'm gonna swing uh, Dark Raft Captain at you. So whenever uh, a zombie you control dies, target opponent loses one. Yeah, have the zombie. Control. Whenever another zombie, so it okay. won't even trigger here. All right, so it's a two-two right now, right? It has death touch. It has death touch. Yeah, take two. One, two, three. Lord of the Accursed. Okay. And then I'll pass. Zombies right. getting menace. Okay. Let's have a key draw card. Play a soul ring. Mm -hmm. That's under his right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, cast my commander. Huh. Pass. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's planes. Um, for the Council of Four. Mm -hmm. uh, so when a player draws their second card during their turn, I draw a card. And when a player casts their second spell during their turn, I create a 2 2 white knight. Move to combat. Yeah. Ryan, I'll send uh, the Triumphant Adventurer at you along with a 1-1 one, one Goblin. Actually, I think I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and it wasn't my pen builder. Okay. And I'll 
scry. Okay. I'm going to take it. You're going to take it? I don't know what it is, but... Okay. It's four. Oh, yeah, right, four. right, 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 four. Sorry. Uh, and I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Keep, draw a card. Man, that's not what I wanted to see. I'll play a forest. All right, I'm going to play a Rex Sage. Uh, I'll, I'm going to draw a card first. Uh, Rex Sage trigger. I'll do the I'll do the soul ring. It's gonna pass. Oh god! Nice. Yes. <laughs> Online. I'll take the two. I was like, should I destroy the thought vessel? Oh, gosh. We'll tap everything. Or will help. Mm -hmm. All right. So what does this guy do again? So, whenever another zombie uh, I control dies, if it didn't have a decayed, I create a 2 2 black zombie creature token with decayed. Mm -hmm. And then at the beginning of my end step, I can sack a zombie and draw a card. We'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. um, Kyle? Yeah. This beast, 3 3 beast, mm -hmm. 3 3 death touch. Okay. A 5 4 and a 3 4. At you. Jesus. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so, so we'll um, do this. We'll do this in order. Three, 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 three. Death touch. Right. Three, four, five, four. Okay. So I will block the two, two death touch. Uh, three. Gun. It's th it's a three. It is a three, three. But it's it, it, three, it doesn't okay. matter. But so yeah. I'll block uh, that with my yeah. goblin. I'll block the beast. Uh, with my council of four, and then I'll take. Seven, I'm to block this guy right here. This guy's a five. Th this a five this is a five four. Okay, so I'll, I'll take seven. Well, but I mean, I, you should block him. I mean, I'm not gonna do well. Okay, what is <laughs> that one? Do, do what you want. Well, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Why? Why, I mean, why I mean, do I need to do that? I, I mean, I mean, I'm, you would be. I'm tapped. You'd be taking less damage. I'm, ta I'm tapped. Oh, okay. Out. Yes, he's yeah, a five four. It's a three three. So he's saying just block this. Okay. So yeah, I'll do it that way instead. I'll take. So you're taking uh, five. Oh, you're taking six here because this okay. is a, sorry. This is a three. So I'll three take four. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, tap five. Mm -hmm. Cast a regal caracal. Yep. Trigger. I'll make a dog. Dog. Which will be represented by this copy token. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll go. Dog on cat. Um, is, that, is this good? Regal character? Yep. Mm -hmm. ETB trigger, I uh, will make two of these white cats. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. I'll swing four at Drew. I'll take it. Okay. Pass. Oh, sorry, five. Five. Oh, well that changes everything. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> and I gain five. Okay. Alright, yeah, because the cats are white right now. I will play this area of landscape. One, two, and a blue for eccentric apprentice. So it's a two-two flyer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I'll venture. Um, and at the beginning of combat on my turn, uh, if I've completed a dungeon, up to one target creature becomes a bird with base power and toughness 1-1 one, one, and flying until end of turn. Um, so I'll venture. I'll go into... Oh, sorry. I'll do... Uh, I'll make another goblin. And then I'll do two and a black for... A, a server rack, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I haven't completed two annihilation back into my hand. Gotcha. I'll venture. Uh, I'll go into storeroom, putting another plus one on this dude. Nice. Move to combat. Yep. I'll have the eccentric apprentice uh, trigger for combat. I'll make I'll make that a one one bird. Birdie. Does it lose all abilities? Or no, just it just becomes a base power one one and flying and flying. So it's a one one flyer. Still yes. has all its stuff. Okay. Yeah. 
Just until I know the kid's turn. Oh, okay. Um, move to combat. Yeah. Uh, I'll do this 4 4 triumphant adventure. The two goblins at New Drew. So that's uh, 4 4 and 2 1 1s. And I'll have an attack trigger. Um, and I'll go here and draw a card. Uh, that's my second card for turn. Uh, it says player, mm -hmm. uh, so I'll draw two cards. Mm -hmm. um, also, I cast a uh, second spell, so I'll make a... Mm -hmm. Right? Because it was uh, Eccentric Apprentice first, and then Ace Dragon. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'll make a 2-2 two, two white knight. I don't know if I have... Oh, there we go. It doesn't have Vigilance, but... Mm -hmm. So we we back on combat now. Yeah, we're at combat now. Okay, I declare no blocks. Uh, so we'll take four, five, six. I uh, will pass. Yeah. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Let's play a forced. It's gonna pass. Good. Untap. Draw. Alright, four. Um, both of these for black. Four grave pact. Hmm. I got my instep. I'll sack more of the accursed to Wilhelm. Mm -hmm. Make a 2 2 zombie with decay. Um. Archival Thraven Trigger. Whenever uh, another zombie I control dies, look at the top card of my library. It's zombie. Uh, if I don't put this into my hand, you may put it. Into I may put it into my graveyard, but I won't. Gotcha. Uh, and then Grave Pack Trigger. I'll sacrifice uh, a cat. I'll do. Uh, I'll do the. Um. Yeah. Let's or no, Audio Rick Sage. Maybe. Yeah, I'll do Rick Sage. I think I'll do the. Yeah, I think I'll do the eccentric apprentice. Um, Severus trigger. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go into the dungeon of the Mad Ninja this time. Sure. Um, and I'll gain one life. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. And uh, up to draw. I'll pay four. Cast an anointed procession. Oh, nice. nice. Good card. Yeah. I don't think I drew. I don't think I, I sacked no, my. I, drew I sacked my card, but I didn't draw. Mm -hmm. Is everyone okay if I draw? My yeah, card? yeah. Go ahead. I mean, uh, it was to, the, just off of that. If you draw, I draw. Off of council before. Right, that, that, was that, that could make things. Uh, what have you done just, this turn? I uh, cast the anointed procession. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely going to draw it. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry about that. And this will we'll miss. Um, I'll move to combat. I think I'm going to go five. And Kyle. Uh, I'll block with the knight. Okay. Oh, low battery. Oh, shoot. I'll gain five and pass. And tap. Up you. Draw. I'll pay a blue for a secret door. It's just a zero four defender, and I can pay five to venture. Here's one black. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three. For intellect devourer. Yeah. So I that card. Uh, when it ETBs, each opponent exiles a card from their hand until uh, Intellect Devourer leaves the battlefield, and I can play lands and cast spells from among cards exiled. Um, if I cast a spell this way, I can spend mana instead of three mana cast it. Um, and if whenever I do this land, like I can't use it as a forest, or I have to use it as a green mana. Yeah. Land. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. You can. Have yeah, let's, let's keep my one over here. Um, I'm, uh, I guess we're going to order you did that. I'm going to do yeah. uh, Plague Belcher. Okay. 
Uh, you can have a... Good. <laughs> not much is for you there. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys don't get these cards. <laughs> All right. Uh, I might just cast them as blockers. Mm -hmm. Well, mine comes with a price. Well, yeah, yeah, nice. that is kind of tough. Uh, Let me see if I have anything else I can do. What's the price? Uh, I don't know why, Ryan, but when you suggested that, it made me think of what's in the box? Yeah. What's in the box? Come on. Josh, dude. Made me think of School of Rock. Yeah, yeah, School of Rock. What's the prize? What's the prize? <laughs> Hello, Harvard, you. Everyone will be competing for the top prize. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and do this. I'll, uh, I'll pay three to cast Acerac again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. I'll venture again. Um, I'm going to go into the Twisted Caverns, and Twisted. that one's a uh, target creature can't attack until my next turn. I guess since you have a six, six, I'll just okay. I'll, I'll put that one. Okay, and um, move to combat. Yep. Uh, I'll do triumphant adventurer and the two goblins uh, at you, Drew. Wow. And I cannot believe I'm the one being targeted, but uh, okay. you you swung everything at me. Uh, yeah. That's because you were scary. Yeah. Uh, attack trigger. I'll scry two. So three. Oh, I'm sorry. Four, four, and two goblins. Well, I'm definitely gonna block a zombie or a, a goblin with this zombie. Oh, okay. that has decayed. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. I'll do it with this. Okay. Um, so one of those goblins. And then I'll block uh, another one with will help. I'll just I'll take that four. Okay. Um. I only cast, no, I cast two spells. I get another, I get a two-two, right? Because I cast the secret door, mm -hmm. and then I cast Acerac again, right? You also cast this guy too. So. Oh, I did do cast that. So yeah. I'll at least get the two-two. Yep. Um, and I've only drawn one card. That's it. I pass. On. Aha. Actually, this is. This one actually looks like really well. Alright. Gonna do two mana. Gonna play a mass vandal. When it enters, you may exile a creature card from my graveyard. If you do, exile target artifact or enchantment in the controls. Uh, I'm gonna exile my Rex Sage and I'll target the Grave Pact. Uh, also, ETB, uh, draw a card from the Soul of Harvest. Gonna play a Forest for turn. You've only cast one spell. Yes, I've only cast one spell. Um, and you've only drawn one card. Uh, yes. Did you do? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I did. I did, did draw a second. Yeah, from, second from the soul. Okay. Yes. I'll draw a card. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Genesis wave for eleven. Uh, reveal the top X cards of my library. You may put a number of permanent cards with with CMC X or less from among them onto the battlefield for the rest of the graveyard. So we're going to reveal 11 cards. 1, 2, All 3, 11, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I reveal 11 cards. Uh, Benefactors drop. Forest, Scavenger Ground, Hurricane, Great Up Guardian, Harmonize, Forest, 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 Summoner's Pact, and Wirewood Channeler. Uh, that's also your second spell for the turn. Uh, yes. I'll make another 2-2. Two, two. Man, that was, that was freaking terrible. Okay. So, we'll get these Force. Wildwood Channeler. Great Oak Guardian. Scavenger the Ground. Forest. And that is it. So, I got... I got a couple of ETBs, so um, I'm going to do this uh, in response to Greater Guardian's trigger, I'm going to float, yeah. What does that do? 
uh, when it enters, uh, target player untaps. Uh, a creature target player controls mm -hmm. untap, yeah, and then they get plus two plus two. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tap these. I'm going to float five mana, and then uh, greater guardian trigger will happen. So I'm going to untap these. And then I get two, uh, I get two uh, Soul to Harvest triggers. So I will draw two cards. One, two, three. I'm gonna play a Land of War Visionary. Uh, whenever this enters, I draw a card. And then I will trigger my Soul to Harvest. So I'll draw another card. I'm gonna pay three mana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Eldritch Evolution uh, my Greater Guardian. Uh, as an additional cost to cast it, I sack a creature, so I'll sack Greater Guardian. Search my library for a creature card with CMC X or less, where X is X plus two of the sacrificed creature's uh, CMC and put it onto the battlefield. So I'm going to find a creature with uh, uh, eight or less. I'm going to grab Kamal Hard Croza, put it onto the battlefield. Alright, I'm going to go to combat. Uh, this guy I gotta worry about. Yeah. At the beginning, mm -hmm. at the beginning of combat, uh, my creatures get plus three, plus three, and gain trample. But this one, this one, this, this, and this cannot attack. So these are the only five that can attack right here. Okay. Um. All right, Chris, I'll attack you with five, 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 nine, thirteen. And then Kyle, I'll attack you with five, nine, five, nine, sorry, five, nine, fourteen. So if these come your way, these are going your way. What is the power and toughness of the individual creature? Uh, five, five, four, 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 four. I'll block the uh, five, five. Actually, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna block it. Okay. I declare no blast. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll block the secret door for the five six. And okay. I'll block the two knights on the. Okay. Okay. So so those two die. These two die. And then the door dies. And then the door dies. Is, uh, I'll have a Cetrus trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, I'll venture. Uh, I'll go into. I'll do the Windstone Caverns. I want to see what I get on the exile. Pay two mana, and I'm gonna play this Throne of the God Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tap creatures that I control. Cool. Again with this thing. And then I'm gonna go to my end step. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone loses six life. And I'm gonna pass. That's something that we're gonna have to get rid of here. Untap. Yeah. I think I think we all agree. Uh upkeep draw. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Uh, that's not what I needed. Have you ever thought about how many renditions of that? There is. What? Dead gummit. Yeah. Oh, God darn it. Yeah, Dog gosh, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Dead gum. Dog nab it. Alright, Kowal Coffers. Yep. I'm gonna go, so one of these yeah. is black. Uh, Endless Ranks of the Dead. To be name upkeep, I create uh, X22 two, two black zombie creature tokens where X is half the number of zombies I control rounded down. Yeah, pretty good. I'll pass. That's it. Keep draw card. Uh, green and two white cast an aura shards. Mm. Yes, for sure. Uh, cast dockside. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I you have one for me. Uh, I don't have any uh, artifacts or enchantments. Okay. Um, you just have one. Two. He has two. two. Yeah, I have this enchantment. All right, so I'll do this trigger for. Or I'll, is this good? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll target the throne. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Um, and then Dockside will trigger. I think there's only three total, so I'll make six tapped treasures. Yeah, oh, that was, five, five, six, that was your second spell. I get to do the night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll pass. Um, I'll go ahead and play both of these. Uh, you can only play one turn. I can only play one per turn. Yeah, the, uh, lands one per turn. Oh, lands one per turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do the planes. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do the planes. Blue. For uh, Displacer Beast. So, any TVs, uh, I'll venture. 
Mm -hmm. I'll scratch three. I'll put this one up top. I'll put the these. If it's just generic, can I swap? Because I didn't mean to tap it this way. Um, sure. I'm, I'm fine with that. If, if that's okay with everyone. I'm okay with it, yeah. I'll move to combat. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to do a uh, triumph and adventure. Mm -hmm. and yep. So attack trigger. I'll do mad wizard player. Where I draw three and reveal them. I can cast one of them without pain. Uh... So Midnight Pathlighter, Arcane Sanctum, and a Counterspell. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll play the Midnight Pathlighter. Okay. Um, so creatures I control can't be blocked except by legendary creatures. No legendary creatures you control the combat damage to player venturing damage. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. And it's just four damage. Oh yeah, I take it. So you drew three and then you just play one for free? Play one for free. Okay. One blue. For Rosa Rail, Kingpin, 2-5 uh, Death Touch, 2-5 Death Touch, uh, when it enters the battlefield, I'll take the initiative. Mm -hmm. Whenever you take the initiative at the beginning of your So, well, to take the initiative, I venture into the Undercity. Right. Um, so I'll venture into the first one, which is the secret entrance, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle. What's crazy to me is that there's like multiple cards that cost three mana to venture, and it's like he's still able to like like that. Just seems like so much to venture. Yeah. So we did the this goes in my hand. I've done the secret entrance. I've got one mana. Uh, I've already played the land for turn out of this. Um. Uh, second spell, I'll make another knight. Yep. I forgot about that one. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Wait, where did where did those go? Draw three cards and reveal them. And make that one. Oh, I get I get these two because I drew them. Right, right. You yeah. And then that was my second draw, so I also get to draw a card because I get to draw another card off of this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got to discard. I'll okay. discard it. The I'll discard the arcane. So. Um. There we go. Play a side of domination. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get dominated. So uh, I got a war with Chandler. I can tap this uh, for five, and then I can basically make make infinite mana, and draw my deck. Play okay. Play Kamal and then attack. Unless anyone has anything for that. Nope. Okay. I got nothing. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, wait, right, that was that game. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Do you have no? Something? I don't. Okay. okay. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe I had my head two blue open because I, I, I got that counter spell. Uh, so this game was interesting. Um, I almost thought that I wasn't going to get it because uh, there was a there were points where I, I ran out of gas very quickly, and uh, you know I needed to find ways to draw more cards, and it took a long time. But uh, that Genesis Wave, uh, actually, the, the Genesis Wave didn't really help a whole lot. Uh, it, it actually uh, put my hurricane in, in the graveyard, but you know eventually I mean, you did have the the Soul of the Harvest. Uh, I think you had two creatures come in. Um, so it did draw two cards yeah, on top yeah. of the lands coming in. So it helped out a little. Enough, basically, to win the game. Yeah, yeah. I had to find, I mean, I was. it was very fortunate that um, in these games, uh, in this game and, and the last one that I won was seen, that there wasn't any board wipes. Yeah. Happened uh, happened twice, and I was like, if this, if I get wiped out, it's probably going to be over for me. Yeah. But Yeah, that deck folds to wipes. But hey, I mean, that's why you have such, it's like a turbo style deck like you just want to get all your stuff out as fast as possible drop them all and then just swing out before anything happens yeah. you know, I mean, you, know you also have cards like heroic intervention mm -hmm. and stuff like that to help you know prevent your stuff from dying so yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's two hundred dollars two hundred dollars yeah budget decks are functional you can make them powerful you just gotta know how to do it just, right you know, so. if you happen to like this content make sure you like subscribe comment uh, Turn on the notifications, uh, tell your family, tell your dogs, tell your cats, tell your fish, 
Any other ones we want to tell? No, salamander. Salamander. Oh, oh, if, if you have a pet salamander, let us know in the comments. Um, but yeah, with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time.